wow, uh, I'm finally here. It's only taken me a full 18 months of buying parts. But now with my GPU in hand, um, I've now got everything theoretically to start building my very own photo and video editing workstation. Uh, and one that's uh, maybe capable of a little bit of gaming. So now with that bit of a background out of the way, uh, let's talk about the parts that I'll be using for this build. Uh, so starting off, um, this was the first thing that I did buy, which is the uh, the case. I settled on the um, PureBase 500DX uh, from Be Quiet. I then settled on going for an AMD build, so I um, looked into what type of motherboard I wanted and uh, went for the uh, Gigabyte Aorus X570 Master. Next, let's look at the power unit. This is the Corsair AX1000 80 Plus fully modular PSU. Next would be the uh, the cooling solution. For the CPU, I wanted to go for an all-in-one uh, liquid cooler. So I went for the NZXT X53. I did look at the X63 or the X73, but the radiator is too large to fit in here, especially as I wanted to put the radiator on the top rather than having it vertical on the front. Now let's look at the front row. I'll be using four sticks of the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. These are DDR4 rated at 3600 megahertz. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to say, um, each stick of RAM here is 32 gigabytes. So I'll be maxing this out at 128 gigabytes of RAM, which was probably gonna be overkill as well. Now let's move along to the end here. Uh, these are the three M.2 NVMe drives I'll be using. Uh, my main one, my boot drive, is um, the WD-SN850. And then I've got two other drives. These are the Samsung 980. These are actually uh, Gen 3 drives, but these are the latest uh, Gen 3 drives from Samsung. And now we get onto the final two parts, the absolute goodies. Let's start with this. This is the uh, AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 cores, 32 threads. I'm hoping that I'm gonna see a significant improvement in processing uh, when it comes to video rendering and um, also multitasking. And then we move on to the, the last and hardest part that I've had to buy. I had to sacrifice um, the GPU of choice and instead I've gone for the Gigabyte uh, RTX 2060 uh, overclocked edition. Okay, now let's get to it. I'm really excited about this.
to be. So welcome everyone to my brand new office slash working studio. What you can see just back there, hopefully, yeah, uh, just there, uh, is my brand new workstation slash part-time PC gaming rig. Now, full disclosure, it has been a few months since I shot the build for the PC. Now, obviously, the main thing is, is that when I turned on the PC, it did actually start, um, it worked, and obviously euphoria because no one wants to build a PC for the first time and find that they've missed something or it just doesn't turn on. So, yep, it turned on and um, I managed to install Windows, a few other basic programs, and I ran a few benchmark tests for you as well. Now, what I did was I also ran the same benchmark tests on my Dell XPS laptop, which you see just about here, uh, just to give a comparison as to what kind of performance I'll be hopefully getting now compared to what I've been used to for the past uh, six years. Now with the Be Quiet case, um, obviously you can run different RGB effects and I've gone for the not so subtle Xbox uh, green uh, kind of pulsing, not pulsing, but kind of streaking effect uh, going on here on the front and uh, on the, the top there as well. I've also matched the, the RAM RGB and the uh, AIO cooler uh, RGB so it gives a more uniform look uh, whenever I'm using the, the PC. I've also made a couple of additional purchases since the time lapse was shot and I'll incorporate that into the final price of this build as well. I would say it's not really necessary for it but it was for my own personal needs. Okay so let me just quickly grab the camera and show you a closer look at the PC. Um, I haven't actually peeled off the film from the side glass panel which I'm about to do right now. Right, so let's just get straight into these benchmark tests for you. So first up we have Blender and you can see from the six different tests ran that the new PC is actually anywhere between 600 to just over 800% faster than my old Dell XPS laptop. Next up we have PC Mark 10 and here again it's broken down into different categories. The best improvement you'll see here is in the photo editing where it scored 16,291 which is actually uh, just around five times improvement over my old laptop um, with an overall score of 7,970. If you look at the video editing part of the graph um, it scores just around twice as better as the old laptop signifying that it perhaps is much better built towards photo editing than it is for video editing but we shall see that in time. Next up we have Novabench and it's broken down into the different components of the PC. You can see from the CPU and GPU scores that again it is significantly faster than my old Dell XPS laptop. The point that I'm not too sure about is the score on RAM. Um, it scored just under twice the score of my old Dell XPS laptop where it's got 128 gigabytes of RAM compared to 32 so I would have expected that score to be around about four times higher but it's only scored just under twice as much but the overall score is um, it's a total score when you add up all four categories together. Next up we have Cinebench R23 uh, the single core score of 1624 and a multi core score of 25758. 3D Mark was run through TimeSpy, which is the free test. Here we're looking at 7670. And then I ran it through Unigine on Heaven Ultra settings. This one is quite interesting because it scored 3,715 compared to 645 on my old laptop. But I threw in some extra statistics here as well. The average frame per second on the old laptop was 25.6, which it's not even as good as the base PS4 console and the GPU temperature ran up to 85 degrees Celsius which I would have expected in a laptop but the power draw from that GPU is 55 watts 
Now when you compare it to my new PC, it averaged 147.5 frames a second uh, with a GPU temperature of 74 degrees Celsius. Again, probably what I would have expected and a power draw of 162 watts. Now finally, I decided to run some noise level tests for the PC at different positions when running these different benchmark tests. So you can see that from one meter away, which is my natural seating position, I'm looking at anywhere from 31 decibels when it's idle up to around about 42 uh, when running PC Mark 10. When we look at the side glass panel, obviously that is keeping some of the noise level in. So we're looking at anywhere from 36 up to uh, 49 decibels. And finally, we have the top air vent which naturally would be the loudest because we have the exhaust fans running from there. Um, we're looking at anywhere from 50 decibels at idle up to around about 61, 62 when running uh, one of these benchmark tests. So let's get into the pricing for this build. Now feel free to pause the video and have a look at the individual prices for these parts, but bear in mind that these were the cost to me at the time of purchase over the course of 18 months. Some of these can now be found a little, if not a fair bit cheaper, especially with the launch of new CPUs and GPUs and general lower prices for SSDs. Having said that, I'm pleased to say that I came in under my initial target of 4K with a subtotal of £3,550. The exception to this would be the mouse and keyboard, which I personally call essential items to have a PC up and running, uh, bringing the total for my first PC build at £3,775. Right, well, that's it. Thank you guys for taking your time to watch this video. I know it has been a long time uh, making and a long time coming to actually get to this point. As always, if you actually found this interesting, then do give it a thumbs up. And uh, as always, I would appreciate any of you who do consider subscribing to this channel for any future uh, videos that I do make. But yeah, I'm, uh, I have to say I'm really, I'm really pleased with myself and uh, how this PC actually turned out uh, in terms of the, uh, the specs and how it looks, uh, how it performs. And um, I hope it's given you guys some ideas as well um, in terms of how you can build your very first PC. So thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you on the next one.